the purpose of this class is to explain briefly what does it mean one word in the whole scriptures. Goy, it's a singular way. Goyim, it's a plural way. Goy means nation, one nation. Goy means many nations. Now, this word appears many, many times in the whole scriptures, and it appears referring to other nations, not the Jewish people, or even referring to the Jewish people. For instance, take in Genesis, in the, first, in the second Parsha, Parsha's Noyah, it says in the chapter 10, num verse number 5, that God divided into many nations and gave a place to each nation, a language to each nation, etc., etc. Then you're going to find the same expression later, in the scriptures referring to the Jewish people like for instance who is big like the Jewish people etc how does it say it me goi godel who is a great nation it's talking about the Jewish people then you have it even later goi echot ba'aretz like a nation a unique nation in the in the land in the earth so you see that this word refers to any nation now is it a bad word is it a good word so it's not good and it's not bad. It's talking about nation. Now, historically, Jewish people used this word in a despective manner, talking about other nations, but not the Jewish people. Why is that? Maybe we can say like this. Historically, other nations persecuted the Jewish people, murdered the Jewish people, massacred the Jewish people. So the Jewish people like closed into themselves and tried to actually be as far as possible from other nations. That's why they built, we built like a barrier between other nations and us. And we treated other nations like, oh, they're going, you know, they're, they're, not, they're not like us, they're not us. Let's go just with, between us. Why? It's a protective thing in order not to be murdered, not to be massacred, etc., etc. Today, this idea of a despective manner of treating other nations, like in the, again, in a despective way, does not make any sense. Why? Because the, today, thank God, we have justice, we have righteous people, we have righteous people of other nations. So, the word continues to exist, because the word is in the scriptures. The word is a Hebrew word, it's a holy language word, that means a nation, goy, goyim, many nations. But the word does, doesn't have any more this despective thing. Now, I challenge anyone watching this to bring me a source where, the, where it states that this word means something else, anything else. I challenge you, anything else than what I said. If you can find it, okay, let's look at it. You can leave me a comment. If you cannot find it, it's because you're not going to find it. Any other translation is false. It doesn't make any sense. And I just explained why we use this word in a respective manner. And today it does not make any sense. Today the Jewish people is opening up. And everybody is learning from our Torah, from our scriptures, our truth. And this is leading us in order to receive our just Mashiach which is the anointed that is going to bring peace, is going to bring love between everybody, is going to bring the presence of God in a revealed manner speedily in our days.